Hey, in uh, Matthew chapter 5, Jesus is so talking about different ways to have a life that is blessed. He said, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they will be called the children of God. And as there's so much contention, arguing, um, fighting, uh, unrest in our land, there's a blessing promise to those that are peacemakers. To have this blessing, we need to first have the peace of God in our heart. And when you have God's peace, that is the, the first step to being able to give away peace. Um, so that, 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 that's something really important. But part of being a peacemaker, too, is really having honor and love in your heart for someone, no matter whether you agree with them or disagree with them. Um, one of the, the, the tragic things is that disagreements are so often disrespectful. And as Christians, we are able to disagree with someone and still honor them. The Bible says to honor all people. When you show someone honor, you may not agree with their opinion, but you listen to their opinion. You have... Uh, concern for what bothers them. You have empathy, you have compassion, you want to share in their burden, and you want to release the peace and help of the Lord to them. And so there is a blessing that Jesus promises in all times, but oh, so much in our day right now, a blessing to those that make peace. So rather than blowing up social media with what divides us and what are our differences, let's make peace by finding common ground. There are so many things that we do agree on and so many starting points that we can work on together instead of being divided from one another. And as a believer in Jesus Christ, I believe that his image is in you. And John says, you can't love God whom you haven't seen if you don't love your brother who you have seen. So we need to release the love of God to people that are very different in their perspectives, their opinions, and not allow those differences to be what we focus on because that brings division. But Jesus said, blessed are the peacemakers. Find the peace of God first in your life today and know that Jesus is able to heal our land and to bring help to the pains that are going across our nation and allow the Holy Spirit to just breathe that blessing into your life and allow you to be a peacemaker, releasing the peace of God to those that are around you. God bless you.